Good evening, friends. Happy Wednesday to all of you. President Biden and his administration are trying to figure out how to provide jobless Americans with more stimulus relief money, as jobless claims across the U.S. have increased. All eligible families and seniors could be seeing a huge increase in monthly payments in just a few weeks. Friends, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to enter my $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. What it is, it's, it's absolutely outrageous. You know, obviously, it cannot continue. Uh, but the fact is that there is an attitude of uh, uh, lawlessness in our country that springs from I don't know where. Maybe you do. And we cannot have that lawlessness uh, become the norm. And these people have, um, they have, uh, they coordinate with each other and they plan um, traffic patterns and the rest so that they can reach their goal and depart very quickly. And some of it is, again, high level stores as the, um, retailers have told us, and some of it is your local Walgreens, but none of it is acceptable. And again, first time unemployment filings are expected to tick up slightly from last week's reading, but remain near pre-crisis lows, signaling continued recovery in the labor market as high demand for workers pours into the new year. According to Bloomberg, Analysts predict first-time filings for unemployment insurance will continue to hover below the 2019 average, about 218,000. That is when the unemployment rate was at the half-century low of 3.5%. The current unemployment rate is also expected to edge down to 4.1% by the end of this month, as the labor market continues to tighten. At 205,000, Last week's initial unemployment claims were on par with economists' forecasts and below prices levels yet once again. Earlier in December, jobless claims fell sharply to 188,000, the lowest level since 1969. These reports serve as an early indication of the relative strength expected to show in December's jobs report though the economic impact of this crisis remains unclear. So friends, what are your thoughts on the rising unemployment claims? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Time is running out to determine if you are eligible for the so-called plus up stimulus payments on your 2021 taxes, which is part of the economic impact payments, which was authorized by the American Rescue Plan Act of March, 2021. The deadline to verify and see if you do qualify is December 31st of this year. Plus up payments are additional payments that the Internal Revenue Service is sending to those who received a third economic impact payment based on the 2019 tax return or information received from the Social Security Administration or Veterans Administration. For example, you may receive a plus up payment if your income was less in 2020 compared to 2019, or if you added a dependent on your 2020 tax return, this is all according to the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS has said on its website, you do not need to take any action other than file a 2020 tax return as soon as possible to give the Internal Revenue Service time to process a plus up payment before the end of 2021, if you are eligible. Remember that plus up payments are set separately from the 2020 tax refunds and previous economic impact payments. They are normally issued within two weeks from the time that the 2020 tax return is processed. Eligibility for these payments include U.S. citizens or residents with incomes of $150,000 a year if married and filing a joint return or if filing as a qualifying widow or widower, that is $112,500. Eligibility for the payments include U.S. citizens or residents with incomes of $150,000 if married 
and filing a joint return or if filing as a qualifying widow or widower. 112500 if filing as head of household or $75,000 for any other filing status. Forbes explained that as the IRS is aware that many Americans saw their incomes drop significantly in 2020 during the crisis, this payment is a difference between what they initially received based on their 2019 income and what they were entitled to based on their 2020 income. The Internal Revenue Service said that you can check the status of your plus up payment with the Get My Payment tool. In addition to that, if you need to file a federal tax return for 2020 and have income of $72,000 or less, you can file your tax return electronically for free. Friends, the keyword for this video is pudding. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like this video, comment below the keyword, and also please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. If the Build Back Better bill actually manages to pass in January of 2022, parents could be looking at a late holiday gift in the form of a double child tax credit for the month of February. If the advanced child tax credit remains in the Build Back Better plan in its current form, that means parents could receive $600 per child under the age of 6 in February and $500 per child between the ages of 6 and 17. In March of 2022, the payments would return to the usually monthly amount that parents had received for the last six months during 2021. However, as of right now, the Advanced Child Tax Credit, along with many other elements of the Build Back Better, hang in the balance. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, whose vote is required for the Build Back Better bill, in order for it to pass, is leading a charge that could force his fellow lawmakers to scale down much of the social spending and many of the provisions in the bill in order to get it to pass. A study from the Center on Poverty and Social Policy at Columbia University had found that November's advanced CTC payment helped nearly 4 million children out of poverty with the overall child poverty rate decreasing across our country from 12.8% to 12.2% between the months of October and November. So it is extremely important that these payments are once again extended. Friends, thank you so much for joining me here this Wednesday evening. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos every day. To say thank you, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards every Friday. And if you would like to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is verify that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like my videos, and please do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, friends.